Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our series of Microsoft in Tune. And in this video, we are going to talk about Windows device enrollment restrictions. Now, if you're watching this series from the beginning in the last video, we have discussed the process of getting a Windows device enrolled in Intune. Whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing how enrollment restriction works, how you can configure enrollment restriction for Windows on endpoint dot microsoft dot com how to block personally owned devices what is the purpose of corporate device identifier and how to check enrollment error for a specific user or for all the users on endpoint dot microsoft dot com now since we are also running a playlist that's based on microsoft graph i will be sharing a script that you can actually use to query the enrollment error for a specific user or for your entire organization so now let's proceed and understand how exactly enrollment restriction is going to work for Windows as a platform and what all settings can be customized. The first one is Windows version. That means I can have a policy in place wherein any device that has version less than 10.0 will not be enrolled in Intune. The next one is device type restriction. That means I can have a policy in place wherein users will not be able to enroll their personal devices. And the third one is device limit. That means I can have a policy in place wherein any user will not be able to enroll more than five devices. Now this limit of five devices is a default limit, but yes, it can be customized, okay? And there is one more very important fundamental which is more over related to device limit and that is this limit that you're going to define it is going to include all the platforms now let's say as a user i have already enrolled three windows devices that means now i can only enroll two more devices it can be an ios device and it can be an android device or let's say it can be two ios devices but the fact is that overall limit should not cross more than five devices. So this was all about knowing the theoretical part of enrollment restriction. Now let's see everything in action. And for that, I'm going to switch to my browser where I have signed into endpoint.microsoft.com. Now, in order to create enrollment restriction policies, you can go to devices and then click on enroll devices and now click on enrollment restriction. Now, as you can see, the first button is create restriction from this console itself. You can create the restriction policy for either device type version or limit. Now, these are the default policy that exist for device type as well as device limit so let's say if i click on this particular policy which is the default policy for device limit as you can see it has been set to five but if you want you can change this as well the same set of options you will get if you will try to create a new device limit policy so let's say i click on create restriction and now i click on device limit restriction and i will name it as device limit itself okay and now I'll click on next. As you can see, I'm getting the same option wherein I can choose the number of devices that should be allowed for a specific user. Let's say I give it to eight or let's say I set the value eight and I'll click on next. If you want, you can define a scope tags, then the group to which this policy will be applied. And that's it. Your policy will be created. Now, this is a straightforward configuration as well as there is nothing complicated related for device type as well. So let's say now if I go and click on device type restriction and here I will type device type restrict, let's say, and I'll click on next. Okay. Now, as I've said before that it's not only about version and personally owned devices, you can actually block the entire platform to be getting enrolled in Intune. Okay, so let's say if I want to block the enrollment of personal owned devices, then I can simply click on block over here. If you have to define version, then you can mention, let's say 10.0. And that's it. If any device that is getting enrolled would have a version less than this, then it will not be enrolled. 
then again you can click on next you can define scope tags in assignment scope this to a specific group with which you will be doing the testing in the first initial phase and that's it click on next your enrollment restriction policy is created now this is how you can create the enrollment restriction policy for both the type of policies that exist the first one is device type and the other one is device limit for this demo I have already created a policy and I have named it as block personal device and if I'll go to properties as you can see Windows MDM has been set to block now this is something which is going to target PCs and this is something which is going to target mobile devices now let's understand what is the purpose of corporate device identifier now if you will click on corporate device identifier and then click on add you get two options over here the first one is upload csv file which can take up to 5000 entries and the size should not be more than 5 mb and the other one is enter manually now let me tell you honestly the options that you see here is nowhere related to windows as a platform because you will not find IMEI number on a typical laptop as well as this option that you see here which says serial number it's it is said to Android iOS and Mac only okay so this section typically will not help you to create any exceptions for Windows as a platform but corporate device identifier is the section wherein you can add the IMEI number of a device or serial number of a device so that once that device starts enrollment process it should be treated as a corporate owned device okay that's the purpose of corporate device identifier but in windows or for windows it doesn't make any sense okay so i'll close this and as of now what i have done is i have created an enrollment restriction policy which is going to block the enrollment of personal devices now in order to reproduce the issue or in order to showcase what exactly the setting is going to do what I will be doing is as a user I will be enrolling my personal device with automatic enrollment method and let's see what experience we get whether the device enrollment gets blocked or not so for that I'm going to switch to my machine which I will be enrolling by Azure AD joining it to my Azure AD okay so this is my machine and the host name is enroll okay if i go back to my browser there is no at such device that exists which has a name like enroll so if i'll go to windows you can see there is no as such device that exists in fact there is not even one single device for this particular tenant okay so now i'll go back to my device okay i'll click on settings I'll click on access worker school account and then I will click on connect now this user with which I'm going to Azure AD join my machine is Intune licensed okay so now I'm going to type pim at the rate concepts and I'll click on next and then I'm going to type my password now the expected behavior is that I will get a prompt which will say that this device is getting joined to Azure Active Directory because once this join is completed then only the Intune policies will get scoped okay now the expected behavior is that I should get an error and this device should not be enrolled in Intune this is the expected behavior and as you can see I am getting an error which says that this feature is not supported contact your system admin but as you can see that this particular error code or this particular message that I'm getting is not letting the user know that your personal device has been blocked as per the enrollment policy now the question come where you can check this information so for that what you have to do is you have to go to this option which says monitor and then click on enrollment failure and then click on select user and select that particular user with which the enrollment has been failed you can click on select and you will see that this particular device enrollment is failed or the last attempt by this user has been failed because the user is trying to enroll a personally owned device but now the question comes what exactly is happening under the hood or why does 
Intune blocked the enrollment of this particular device. Okay. Let's understand this with the help of our deck and what exactly happens when a user tries to enroll their personal device. Okay. So let's consider a scenario wherein a user is trying to enroll a device that's been personally owned by him or her. The very first request will go to Azure AD wherein this device has to be Azure AD joined. Okay, but the fact is that since we have enabled automatic enrollment, the moment request reaches Intune, there is a policy that exists over there which should block the enrollment of personal devices. And the fact is that Intune doesn't even know this particular device, right? Because that IMEI section and the serial number section is something which is not even applied to Windows as a platform. So in this case, what will happen, this device enrollment will get blocked. And since it has been blocked by Intune as a service, the device object will not be created in Azure Active Directory. Okay, and that's exactly what happened with us as of now when we try to enroll a personal device with the help of my user, which is Pim at the red concepts work.com. Okay, so as I've shown you before that I got the option wherein there was a button I can click and which was joined. That means the next step is the device gets joined to my Azure Active Directory. But let's go ahead and see whether there is any device that exists here or not and as you can see there is no enrolled device here okay as well as the device is not getting listed over here because the enrollment itself is blocked but now the question comes that what exactly is the purpose of this particular feature or how I can get this feature rolled out org wide because there are certain implications of implementing this feature as well and let's understand those first so consider a scenario wherein you have shipped a laptop to your user and you have asked them to get the device enrolled they got their device enrolled the device object exists in azure active directory it's a compliant device because all the compliance policies are working conditional access is working everything is in place and the same device will be used by user if he or she is in the office or working from home. Okay. Now let's say the user is working from home and in between you have created this policy of blocking the personal devices. Okay. And let's say for some reason the device was not functioning as expected and the user got that device unenrolled from Azure Active Directory as well as Intune. That means when I will unenroll a device, the device object will get deleted from Azure AD as well as Intune. Now the question comes that this user will not be able to enroll this device again because you have a policy in place which says block personal devices. Now the first thing which this user will do is to call help desk and get this issue fixed. Now the question comes that if you have created this policy for your entire organization, your help desk team will also not be able to fix this issue, right? Now, the reason behind that is as a user, when they will try to enroll this particular device, they will also not be able to enroll because these help desk users are also scoped for the same policy. Now, in this case, there could be two scenarios to get this issue resolved. The first one is exclude the help desk user from this policy, but that is not a secure solution. That means in this case, you are giving your help desk user the privilege to enroll their personal devices. And the other one is get the help desk user accounts added to a feature called device enrollment manager. Now this feature of device enrollment manager actually stamps a value of corporate owned device while the device is getting enrolled. So even if you have a policy in place, which is going to block personally owned devices or for the devices for which Intune doesn't have any reference, you can use device enrollment manager accounts to get them enrolled. And this will be the entry point of our next video. Now let's cover the last part which is pending for this video and that is checking the logs with the help of script.
okay so i have written this particular script which is going to query microsoft graph endpoints and running this script require this particular permission which is device management managed device dot read dot all and user dot read dot all now as for most of the scripts that we have covered before it is typically going to request an access token it is using client credential flow and at this particular section it is going to query the events for all the users and at this particular section it is going to query the events for a specific user now i will be sharing this particular script in the community post as well as in the description section but if you want to know how i have written this particular script or any script that is existing on our channel or that exist on our channel try considering joining our channel because there is a playlist that exists over there named as microsoft graph scripts where i cover everything related to the scripts that i show okay so let's run this particular script now and see what all information we are getting so the first prompt is to enter my tenant name i'll enter my tenant name and as you can see an access token has been requested now the script is asking me that whether i want to query the enrollment failure logs for all the users or for a specific user so what i'll do i'll type one because it says type one for all users let's see what all we get so as you can see i'm getting the event failure logs for all of my users but now let's say i want to query for one specific user okay so what i'll do i'll type my tenant name again and now i'll type two and it is asking me to enter the upn so this was my user with which i tried enrolling the device and as you can see this action cannot be performed because the user tried enrolling a personal device so let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this particular video we have discussed about enrollment restriction how to configure enrollment restriction how to block personally owned device what is the purpose of corporate device identifier and the script that can be used to query the failure logs in our next video, we are going to talk about device enrollment manager accounts. Now, if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.